What's up, Degenerate? Mad Morgan here for Cold Bear Sports. Hope everybody is doing well and uh, enjoying the weekend. I said I would jump on. I just thought I'd seen an interesting enough runner in the 3 o'clock at uh, Aintree. Before I go into that, let's just touch on the weekend. The preview of Cheltenham was a massive success. Uh, Mickey D uh, tipping up a really nice winner yesterday. Samba Dancer. Uh, Joe Value just getting chinned on the line with um, the hollow ginger at a nice price as well. And, uh, you know, do, does he know or does you know, whatever it's called, the Kim Bailey horse we tipped up that won. And uh, a couple of other horses then the other day, Gar Joe Dreams won. And uh, I'm trying to think Mickey D had third time lucky and the Barronstown lad or the McConnell horse. So a lot of winners tipped on the preview again. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah. Pretty uh, nice to get any winners yesterday, the lucky 15. Um, so annoying. We nearly, Hannibal Barca, you know, we're on him at big prices, 50 to 1 in the lucky, and he just gets bet, and literally, I think, in a short header and nose for third place in the big mile race for the two year olds at Doncaster, the Fiorti, or whatever, you're, however you pronounce it. So, really sick. Nice to get the winner, Jive and Jerry, on it. Tipped him up at 10 to 1. He went off. Uh, 11 to 4 yesterday so really really nice and then we had another horse placed in it uh, was it Dakota Gold and then we had uh, another we had on the service then or Joe Value tipped up a winner in Kelso and then on the service we had a, a bumper horse placed uh, he returned 8 to 1 a nice price each way and uh, we had one disappointing selection was Boundless Ocean in Leprestown he let us all down for big each way trebles and stuff so it was really kind of annoying to be honest. Uh, but anyway, apart from that, good, 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 good weekend overall. Can't really complain. But let's hope uh, today, maybe this Fanny and Destraval in entry. This is an interesting runner for me in the three o'clock. Like he promised to be much better than what he's shown. He has ran some decent races against some nice horses. And I think this year he's only a six year old. Charlie Deutsch takes the right today. If he gets a clean round of jumping at entry today, he might be overpriced. It is a tough enough race. Uh, All Mankind and what else is in it? There was a couple of other horses. Uh, Paul Nichols' horse that disappointed one time. And then there was another horse, Itchy Feet, of, you know, Ollie Murphy's that's interesting. But he hasn't really looked a natural over fences yet. But maybe he could get it together this year. I just think Fanny and Destreval has some really solid form. And I always thought he might be a better horse than he's been able to show us. So let's hope he can return. You know, six-year-old could maybe get going this season. And maybe if not today, he's definitely a horse to follow for the future. So listen, the very best of luck. Anyway, massive day in Galway yesterday. Mickey D, Joe Value, great crack down there. A lot of the, the young followers of the channel called over, said hello. And uh, yeah, we had a right bit of crack. And... Uh, we had a good day. We got on a couple of winners. Jive and Jerry made the kind of day for us down there. That was uh, one we were kind of banking around all day. And look, he got it done. Uh, 10 to 1 tipped up on the channel the night before. Returned 11 to 4. And it kind of made the day. Cotton Landers giving him an absolute brilliant ride just to, to be in front on the line. And uh, yeah, we had it. I thought we were bet everywhere. And the only place we looked to be in front was where it mattered. So props off to Cotton Landers top gas ride. And uh, yeah, we had a couple of other bets down there that came in as well. Um, yeah, there were short enough prices that we had the favourite in the second race. We were all kind of in agreement. We were trying to pick out, uh, you know, the horses that we liked. And uh, yeah, it worked out well. A few winners, a few drinks and a bit of crack. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. So cheers to Mickey D. Cheers to Joe Value. And thanks to all the supporters that came for and said hello and had a bit of crack. Right, lads. Fanny and Destreval, trained by Venetia Williams. Definitely a tough race, but this isn't a bad horse, and uh, hopefully he can show that today. All right, the time for Cotton is over.